Hey everybody, we're Dean of Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Thursday afternoon, March the 29th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first, race 6, 2.48 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Maiden Phillies and Mares, three years old and up, race for a claiming prize of some $25,000. Contenders number four, Ashcraft Silver. Number six, Molly's Prize. Number seven, Siberian Wildcat. And number five, Rough Winner. Number four, Ashcraft Silver. is exceptional early speed abilities for this sprint. has hit the board in four straight starts with the last three efforts also qualifying as power runs. Jockey David Cohen and trainer David Jacobson sent to the post this afternoon. They've hit the board with 63% of more than 250 entries saddled as the team to date. Number six, Molly's Prize, a 4-1 to shot, has hit the board in three of her last four with two of those efforts also qualifying as power runs. She, by the way, is a daughter of Pure Prize, whose progeny have hit the board in 45% of more than 3,300 combined lifetime starts to date. Race six summary, number four, Ashcraft Silver, tops the contenders list tonight, which also includes number six, Molly's Prize, number seven, Siberian Wildcat, and number five, Rough Winner, 4675 in the six today from the Big A. Let's go to Gulfstream Park next for race nine in their card, 5.05 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six and a half furlong sprint on the dirt track. Phillies and Mares, four years old and up. Racing for an optional claiming prize is $66,100. Contenders number one, Shared Heart. Number three, Antidote. Number eight, Lady of Greatness. And number nine, Bessie M. Number one, Shared Heart is the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field. Sprinting at or about today's distance of six and a half furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in five straight starts with his last three efforts, including a win in her last start, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Javier Castellano has been in her irons on two previous occasions, posting a win and a place finish. He's back today for his third ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number three, Anecdote, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus power pony. Has produced a quartet of power runs in her last five, including back-to-back -back wins in her second and third races back. Race nine summary, number one, Sherrod Hart tops the contenders list today, which also includes number three, Anecdote, number eight, Lady of Greatness, and number nine, Bessie M1389 in the ninth from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race two, the four to one shot. Number six, Catnip Kitty has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last five, winning in both her second and fifth races back. Penn National Race Course, race six, the eight to one shot. Number 10, Luna Island, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. So handicapping thoroughbred racing for both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park on a Thursday afternoon. Rick Eaton for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.